We watched for months as the star of The Flash, Ezra Miller, spiraled out of control. We saw terrible headlines. We saw arrest after arrest. We saw allegations of terrible, horrific things, as well as restraining orders put out against Ezra Miller. And it all seemed to not bother him at all. It didn't seem like he cared. He never responded to anything. He just continued to do what he was doing. Until about a week ago, where he came out with this big apology. I'm so sorry for the people I've affected. I'm going to get mental health. And it really came off as hollow and shallow, like he didn't really mean it, like he was just doing it because he had to. And it turns out that's exactly what this was. A new report is saying that Ezra Miller did not care about these headlines, did not care about the arrest, the accusations, did not care about any of the people he may have hurt along the way. The only thing he cared about, the only thing that made him come out and give this fake apology is when Warner Brothers said, yeah, we're thinking about canceling this movie. Ezra Miller didn't mind the stream of bad headlines, but sought help after learning Warner Brothers was considering scrapping The Flash. Here's a quote. They care about The Flash. It's one of their favorite characters to play. Uh, of course, if you're confused by that quote, it's because Ezra Miller, of course, uses they, them pronouns because, again, this is an insane person we're dealing with. Ezra Miller meets with Warner leadership in The Flash Course Correct, exclusive from The Hollywood Reporter. The meeting on the Burbank lot between the actor, agent, and Warner's Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi sought to quell concerns over the star's arrests and controversies. We know there's been a lot of moving parts at Warner Brothers and it with DC over the past month or so, with things changing directions, with movies being canceled, all of this stuff. This was one of the most consequ consequential weeks in DC's history. Warner Brothers' discovery seems to have found the executive to lead that division's film and TV efforts. There were funeral screenings for Batgirl and the moving of major tentpoles like Aquaman and Shazam, revealing the shifting sands. Amid all the bustle around the Burbank lot, one could easily have missed a pair of figures walking around the office, but that's what Ezra Miller and their agent did Wednesday, the same day a Batgirl screening took place. Miller, who uses they, them pronouns, and Metzger met with the new Warner Brothers film chairs Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi to discuss not only how to stay on course for the release date in June, but to reaffirm their commitment to the movie as well as apologizing for bringing negative attention. Over the past two years, Miller has been at the center of arrests and controversies. We're talking about him hitting women, choking women, uh, barging in and threatening to kill women. We have allegations of grooming. We have allegations of harassment. We have so much stuff. It's not just one or two things. It's around the globe. Ezra Miller has been doing this stuff. Uh, culminated with the actor posting a mea culpa on August 15th and saying they want to seek help for mental health issues. Said the actor at the time, I want to apologize to everyone I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. According to sources, Miller vowed to seek help after learning that DeLuca and Abdi were considering all options, including scrapping the $200 million movie if things devolved further. While the actor is said to not have minded the stream of bad headlines, they were spooked by the notion of the film getting canceled and jolted to take action. Says one source, they care about The Flash. It's one of their favorite characters to play. And of course, Ezra Miller's representatives could not be reached for comment on any of this. So this is not surprising that Ezra Miller did not care that he was getting arrested. He did not care that people look at him as a terrible human being. He did not care about the allegations of grooming. He did not care that everyone in the world looks at him like he's a fucking deranged lunatic because that's exactly what he is. The only thing that made him even make a statement, this fake apology that he doesn't actually feel, let's get this straight, Ezra Miller does not actually feel sorry for any of the stuff that has been accused. Like, he just doesn't. Or else he would have said something before. But once he found out that maybe The Flash might get canceled, that's when he takes action. Probably because that's the only thing anyone will ever remember Ezra Miller for. I mean, are people going to remember him for his role in the Fantastic Beasts movies? I don't think so. Nobody cares about his character, even though they tried to make him important. They're likely just going to kill him off, even if they can do another one, considering the last one was just a financial flop. But no, Ezra Miller will not be remembered for anything. We saw when he got arrested how much he freaked out when they took the flash ring off of him. This is the only thing he cares about. That was enough for him to give a fake apology over all the shit that he's done over the past several years. We should not be surprised that Ezra Miller is an absolute piece of human shit. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. The fact that Ezra, again, like we said, like I stated, he did not actually mean this. This was not a real apology. This was just so that Ezra Miller 
could continue playing The Flash. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.